Good morning everyone and welcome back to the Two-Headed Wolf Gaming Channel as we are continuing our journey through Mountain Blade 2. And today we're just gonna work on scouting out and seeing what the Batanians have. Maybe we'll go a bit to the Vlandians as well, doing some more quests, trying to get more reputation for ourselves, then we're gonna return back home. For now we have a level up when we have a free attribute point and also a free focus point. I'm trying to figure out like what would be best, probably just adding an extra point in endurance wouldn't be a bad idea. In charm we're okay for now. On intelligence we would be interested in adding a few more points also. But for now let's stay with this one. On the scouting side, two extra movement speed bonus on steps and planes. And once per day when you enter a town you have a 50% chance to clean, increase your clan's reputation with a notable by one, that is pretty good. Or 10% sight range while on steps and planes. Once per day when you enter a village you have a 50% chance to increase the clan's relation with a notable by one. So it's both of these, but one gives us more speed, one gives us longer range. I'm just gonna take the sight. If your party is more than 75% infantry, you receive 50% less speed in penalty in forests. 5% movement speed bonus on desert and dunes. I do like this as well. Though we might be replacing this later on. What should I be focusing on? Should I start thinking about adding like this crossbow? Aiming with a crossbow is 25% faster or crossbow attacks ignore armor below 20. The faster aim could come in handy. You know what? Mm. But the extra speed on the horse as well. You know what? We're going to go with an extra level here in riding and I'm probably going to go crossbow afterwards. Just for that basic skill. So I'm just gonna go south. We're going to sail on here. Let's see if we find anyone in the mountains that we could fight. There's a quest. Well, let's check it out. What's the quest about? Family food. We don't care really to get involved in family foods. Buying goods. Let's see, we can sell all of these. Bent fish for poons, around shields. Let's see, if I have my normal clothes apparently i cannot equip that shield we can only have a sword maybe a few armor pieces you will get a thousand oh they don't have that much money so we'll do this was there anything that they sell sold like apparently grain is really cheap oh, some hardwood here as well 46 yeah we'll buy it you never know where we might be able to sell it for a good price. Since we're already here, why not do this? Army of poachers, we could do work with that. Let's see. If I go to the arena, we have a tournament and there are only two lords renowned for their skills. Apparently we're fighting in two teams. Lundana the Disposed. She has charm, polearm, one-handed fighting, riding and throwing as a skill. We can recruit her, she's probably in the tavern. We also have Rilana the Wanderer. I do like how your own people will be joining these battles. This would be a great axe to have. I will bet on us just for a tiny bit. Oh, this is a Oof. Yeah, let's just wait for a while here. It's a bit unfortunate to not have a shield and having to fight archers. 
But all of this will provide us with some skills in two-handed fighting. And there we go! Right, every little bit counts. Let's continue going forward here. We have a two-handed axe now. I'm hoping that they do too. <laughs> nice. So that guy is down. Come on. We're a bit quicker. Yep, that worked. We made good money here. Let's see who's going forward. We're going to have another team battle here. A Batanian Old Sworn. That is quite good. Right? Let's see, where is the Old Sworn? Oh, it's actually a tier 5 troop. The Fian is a tier 5 also. He's an archer. And a Batanian Scout. Okay. Let's spend a bit more money here. We started with two-handed axes, that's good. Okay, so that's about it. Got some athletics, got some more skills in two-handed swords. I'm gonna bet on myself once again. What do we have here now? A two-handed sword. I almost feel like we have this battle, but this old sword should have some skill. And there we go! Ah! Oh. Victorious, renowned plus free, one-handed bearded axe, and a bunch of earnings from fighting. That is really cool. You can see we almost got here a enough levels in order to get to strong grip or our first skill in two-handed combat. Let's see. So it has slightly less handling, but it has six more into length and slightly more damage. I guess it's not the most amazing weapon that we have, but Still going to count for something, right? Okay, we cannot equip this apparently. Should I give you an axe? Let's see. Is this better? It's a tier 3, 103 speed. Yeah, maybe not. We're just gonna leave them with the faster, the quicker attack. On the tavern, we ransom the prisoner. Yeah, we do have this one as a wanderer. Also on the trade side. I'm guessing the price for this here yeah, will go down quickly. It sh showed this, basically that it's cheap here. Can't really do much else, I would say. So I'm just gonna say done and let's see if the, the quest Hi. here is something that we could do. There's some bandits, cleanse the vermin. Sure. Let's get rid of the poachers. And let's take a, just a quick look at the town. Just before we move on. Okay, it's still wintry. But they do have a lot of stone walls here. And with the wood they've constructed the top of these fortresses. Round towers, they would be good against siege artillery. Okay, a look at that. They have a, like a huge mill over there. Yeah, and some ruins. 
Anyway, we're gonna leave. I'm not gonna spend too much time doing this, but it does look cool, doesn't it? So what do we have to do? A merchant of Senon told you that the poachers she hired before are now out of control. She asked you to go to Andern around midnight and kill the poachers. Andern is in that territory. So let's see. Fight the poachers. We could negotiate with them, but who cares? At them! Let's just attack here. Apparently we start... With a few warriors to the side. Let's see, what do the poachers have? Like, do they have horses or what do they... On my plan! Do not know exactly where they are. Okay. Ah, there they are. Okay. So let's charge at them. I'll try to take the this path and see if I can come up right behind them. But there's a lot of snow here, so our horse is slowed down. I might have been better to just dismount. Good. Yeah, the weather conditions are not allowing us to have good visibility here. guy is trying to run away so let's try to catch him there we go our army is in perfect shape now to take down poachers we'll get ourselves let's get ourselves some hunters we haven't really gotten ourselves archers from our very own faction we'll use one horse to do this sure we'll get a few more horses why not there we go a padded leather overcoat seems like an upgrade yep it is some leather thin hide coif okay better boots and a bunch of arrows and a cracked longbow I'm not think I'm thinking no one can equip that and I was right completed this quest Let's go here to Dangles. Oh, Danglenis. Okay, our medicine is going up, our scouting is going up. Let's see, what do we, what can we do here? There's another quest to escort a merchant. Let's see if we can sell some goods. Low price, low price. The price of tools seems to be decent, actually. That's good. We'll sell the leather as well. Should probably get a few more horses, especially since we're upgrading them. You don't need high quality horses. So what you want to do is pretty much get yourself the cheapest horse that you can find. But I guess we have to find a village. And you will be using them in order to upgrade your troops. Okay, apparently neither of these horses is better. Okay, we'll say done. Tavern, ransom prisoners, keep. No, we don't care. Arena is closed at night. Let's wait until the morning. We have a tournament here with four lords, so we are going to go and fight it. Let's see... Batanian Thoroughbred. Okay, it's our battle, let's wager some money. We are actually fighting a, our very own partner here. But at the end of the day, it's an arena, right? <coughs> <laughs> there we go. Nice and easy. We're gonna get more points into two-handed skill. 
Okay, we'll bet once again. We're gonna bet some money. It is a team effort now. This is one of the lords. I mean, like, we're fighting lords too. What are these? So, three two handed warriors and an archer. Got it. Oof. Yeah, this was tough. Somehow they really took down those lords. I thought that I was doing good, but I wasn't. Let's keep the match. Yep, unfortunately on this one we lost. But that is not a problem. At least we tried. What are we going to do next? Let's go to this castle of Karbanset just to see what we have. Maybe we can trade some of our goods for a good price. Uh, doesn't really seem like it. I'm probably going to have to go to the east in order to sell the iron ore. Can get a bunch of mules over the workhorse. Can see that the prices for it are not that impressive. So we're gonna buy these horses. Arena, nothing going on here. Scored the merchant caravan and the gang leader needs weapons. Oh, it's winter in the entire north. I don't remember if there was a season system within the game before. Yeah, now it's winter of 14. I see. Okay, that is pretty cool. As I said, I don't remember seasons being in the game. Maybe they were, I just forgot. Okay, let's try to get one of these castles. The Ox Hall. Apparently there's an army here. And one of you knows something Peace to about you, the strange. battle. Can you tell me anything about the Battle of Pendrake? Yes, I was tasked by Dirt Hurt with the command of the crossbowmen. Our knights spotted a mass of Azurai light infantry spread across the valley and charged them. They weren't ready to meet the onslaught and were routed, but then a bunch of Kuzites showed up and kept the, their distance, giving the knights a hard time, shooting their horses out from under them uh, that's when we showed up. When it was just us fighting the horse archers, we were winning. A man on foot can shoot as well or better than a man on a horseback, all things being equal. And there were a lot of more of us, so they started to go down and galloped off. The knights of course pursued and that's when the problem started. Imperial cataphracts showed up, armored head to foot and their horses too, so they just ignored our shooting and tore right through us. I was swept away in the retreat and saw no more of the battle. King their hurt had a good enough plan, but the Baron Ingalter Aldrich, that lot, ignored him and as they always do. Thank you. Okay. So that's pretty much all that we can find out from him. This right here, this is a an army, like it's multiple parties together, and they are going to probably attack one of the castles, depending on who they are war with. As far as quests go, we need four more nobles to speak to. Yeah, let's just attack the sea raiders. We're not going to even try. We're just gonna send our troops. There we go. Capture them. We can get a bunch of goods and we're gonna take everything and then we're just going to go forward here. What quest do you have? A courier with a marriage offer for Noshon from Apolitea has arrived. A courier arrives, head of Neretzes. He proposes that his kinswoman marry Noshon from your clan. Okay. Who is this Apolitea? Was he your brother or what? But this is head of the Nereces, which is the Empire, right? The couple appear to be compatible. Do you accept? Nope, we will decline. 
So Noson is our brother, Fodor is our other brother, and Alishka is our sister, okay? Let's see, character, we have a point now in leadership. Fervent attacker, addition 4 morale at the beginning of the battle when you are attacking, increase the rate of recruiting tier 1, 2 and 3 prisoners by 50%, okay? And stout defender, additional morale when we are defending and increase the recruit rate of 4, 5 and 6 prisoners, or tier 4, 5 and 6 prisoners. I think it's a bit tougher when we are defending, right? We may be caught in a bad position and things like that, so... They need animals and we do not care. Yeah, you can see that the Lanok Hen Castle is being besieged now. Yeah, so they're besieging this castle with the army that we just spotted earlier. Over on these sides, everything is with the gang leader, so we do not care for that. Not on this run, at least. Nothing in the arena, we can ransom our prisoner. Let's see, what was that? We have a I, smithy here. I don't think I know you. Peace to you, stranger. You are good at smithing. Well, you are decent at smithing. It's not necessarily good. Athletics, two-handed mastery, and polar. Uh, yeah, no, let's not recruit him. Trade. Do you want to buy anything from this? Nope, the price of iron is not great. We can sell some of these stuff that we've gained. A balanced spear. Yeah, I do like that. There we go. I guess we should start thinking about building some weapons and armors, right? And try to get some resources. Like, we should get to smelting some of these resources. We could get some charcoal from Hard World. Let's see. Free build. If I am taking a look at one-handed axes... try to make ourselves like this super axe. I'll look at the difficulty there, so we'll need some skill. Okay, just going forward, let's take a look at the basic axe, right? Let's say that I want to make something like this. For the moment we are just practicing our skill and nothing else. We will need wrought iron, some hardwood and some charcoal. Good to know. Let's see, do we have any kind of charcoal around here? No, I do not see any. Okay. Well, I think I've pretty much done all I wanted here. We're just gonna go to Rovald's castle before we leave, and then we're going to return back to our lands. Hopefully do a bit more there, do a few more quests, win a few more battles, getting us closer to joining their faction. Let's see, go to arena, nothing there. Trade. The price of hardwood is 40. I can sell at least up to this. Iron is cheap. We got really unlucky with the iron. It's either that or they are producing, right? They have like these areas. Probably going to the south would be the right idea in order to sell the iron. Shall I just do that? For now, let's return home. I think we've spent enough time in foreign lands. Where are we at? Well, we are 111 reputation, so there's more needed. Let's get up here. I saw some mountain bandits and I would like to take some of their weapons and armors. Okay. What is this? 
A courier arrives bearing a message from Lucon. He is offering you a contract as a mercenary. Who is Lucon? Lucon. Lucon is okay, part of the Empire and we do not care for it. Okay. Let's attack. I want to support Charge! our troops in this. As you can see now we have a bit of a cavalry. Well, we have only one cavalry unit and two companions which have horses. Ooh. He is a bit quicker on his horse. So I'm not sure whether we'll be able to catch on to him, but we're gonna try somehow. Let's see. Hopefully he'll make a left. Okay. Nice! Our speed is carrying us through. We took down the highwayman there. Nice! This weapon definitely has a bit more reach. Gain a bit more renown, gain a bit more morale. You can get a lot of reputation from what I can see just by doing... Just by doing missions, taking down the bandits. But look at this. That is cool uh, heavy armor. Looking forward to the day when we can have that as well. It's either getting a heavy axeman or a heavy spear. I think we said that we're gonna go this route first with axes. I'll be making another ranged warrior. And over on this side we'll be making another line breaker. Yeah, let's loot everything. And I was going to revel. There's a siege going on here, okay. I do not want to get involved in the siege, but I do want... I do want to talk to these people. Mm, let's see, what happened here? Ah, I left the menu open, okay. Should I just sit in one of these villages just waiting? I feel like for quest reasons I should. For now let's just take a look around. Take care of some of these. Let's see if we can fight a battle here. Go to the arena. No, there's nothing going on. Ransom our prisoners. Let's trade. Slightly better price. Actually, I don't think that hats and armors we can smelt, but these javelins, we might just be able to do so. Let's see. You are using javelins as well. These are just a bit better, but they pierce less. How about this? Okay, they are an upgrade over that one. And we'll go to the smithy. We're going to go to smelt. We're going to select this one. You don't have the required materials. Okay, so we need some charcoal in order to make this happen. Let's refine. Okay, this is adding smithing points to us. Yes. Okay. That is a good sort of smithing, I guess. Escort the merchant caravan. Don't care about that. Let's see. Apparently there's some hardwood here which we could buy. Probably it's going to be cheap. 
So that's why I'm here. Relationship has increased by random chance. Yeah, let's get some of it. Like what, 40, 60? Since we are going a lot into smithing. Just gonna get to this castle as well, see if there's any kind of tournament, but there's not. We have some wrought iron now and some crude iron, also charcoal. Okay, we'll keep this, make sure that we're not selling them. Maybe I should just keep iron ore as well, right? I wonder for how long will they do this. I mean, the longer you wait in this situation, the better it will be. Like, you can take down some of these towers. Okay, it seems like they're... It's either they're disbanding or they're attacking already. I'm just gonna spend a bit of time here. Stop waiting. Relations increase by one. Let's take some of the grain. We want the extra food. Probably up to 40, 40 days. Yeah, and they've captured the castle, as you can see. Now let's go and talk. Over here. Approach the gate, request entry into the castle. Okay. He does not want us to do this. Our clan tier is not high enough for us to get this. We wasted some time there, but at least we tried. Right? Oh, maybe they left? Let me just do... Yeah. So let me try to approach them here. Yours is not a face I know. Can you tell any, me anything about the battle? I was there, I was just a young squire. I have heard no sweeter music than the thunder of our hooves as we bore down on the Asurai rabble. We fell on them like a falcon plunges upon a rabbit. They had overextended ourselves, chasing the imperial archers. Light foot before our knights. There was no contest. Let me tell you something. Nine tenths of victory is recognized when your enemy has made a mistake. The rash perish as swiftly as the weak and deserve it just as much. We should have gone on to seize all the Western Empire. If Dirtert had any manhood, we'd have done so. But his heart was never in the war. He believed he'd broken his oath to the Empire by helping the Sturgeons, and he'd gnawed at him. He'd have made a fine lackey. Instead, he's our king. Is there anything else? Nope, nothing for now. We heard everything that we wanted to hear. So at this moment, okay, it's starting to get be spring. You can see that the snow has retreated from certain areas. Let's see, 15 looters. Well, let's go after them then. Since they're on our way, we'll just send the troops. Good, take the looters. Take all of these. And now we're just going to Senon. Senon. Come on, give me a tournament. I'm itching for a fight. They have nothing like that. If I go to the tavern. What are you? Yours is not a face I know. What is your You are just a crossbowman and a one-handed soldier. We do not care for that. Let's sell our prisoners. We're going to trade, see if there's... Anything here that catches a good price. Apparently, Iron Ore catches a good price. Enter the smithy, let's see, refine. Okay, I do need charcoal and iron ore to make crude iron, apparently. 
Smithing skill is 13, with smithy uh, stamina is 35 out of 106. I mean, at the end of the day, we did spend quite a bit of time working on some of these. Let's make more charcoal. Okay, so now we're tired. We'll have to recover for a while until we can do sm the smithing again. Let's go to the north. The town of Varchex and our very own settlements are waiting for us. Level 48 in riding. Okay, what do I do? Sturgeon warriors probably and two of these rangers. Well, let's remove one because we don't have any more space. What do we have here? Escort a merchant caravan. If we go to the tavern, there's no one here. If we go to the arena, there's no battle going on. Let's take a look at what we can buy. A battle axe? More length, more handling, a bit of extra swing speed, but it's not worth the money for one extra point there, I would say. Skill is more important. I feel like if we get ourselves either a better, I guess a better armor, because helmet we already have. I would really love to spend some of that money that we have. Look at the steel nasal cap, 10,000. Or we could get ourselves some decorated scales, shoulders, provides us with a lot of body armor. Hmm. Bronze scale vest over Gambeson. 7k. It weighs 15 when our current armor it weighs 1.6. But it provides us with 28 body armor. This one does 22. I think I am just going to invest in this. Let's get ourselves one of these armors. I mean, at the end of the day, we want to make progress in this direction, right? Okay, apparently this was better. 7k. Gives us an extra meaning to work for more money for a while. Let's see, we're at minus one relations here. My greeting. Okay. I will be willing to pay you generally 451. Let's escort the caravan. Okay. So, what do we need to do? We just need to... To guard it until we visit three settlements. Okay. Let's see. Okay, so it's this guy. Can I just click on him like this? A courier marriage a courier with a marriage offer from for Noson, our brother, our big brother, from Bolat has arrived. Bolat. His kinswoman ball out from your clans. Let's see. So, head of o the Urkunite. Who are these people? Let's see. Urkunite. Urkunite, yes. Ah, so one of the clans. I mean, it's interesting that we get a lot of offers for him. About the task he gave me, okay, let's see, what's the news of the market, we can trade. Ah, uh, there are the raiders, 40 raiders. You got a problem? Not if you give up. Let's attack here. 
We have a slight Attack! advantage, but they are 40, so we should be careful how we handle this. For the cavalry, let's have them follow us for the moment. Mostly because I do not want four people, four warriors to just go forward into the walls. Okay, there's a bit of a heal here and that is not good for us. Okay, they have horses too. Okay. They're not really wearing armor, so this should be fairly easy if we manage to beat. There we go. Ah. Okay, a Storgian Woodsman has died. But maybe we can sell, save him through surgery. Through surgery. I'm trying to fight and think at the same time about something that is not fighting. It's not really efficient. Okay, that one's down. Apparently, we have you here. Pretty annoying. I feel like they're pretty much done here, right? They're trying, they're starting to retreat. Now, I'm just gonna try to hit him. Come on, make this epic. Oh, that, that felt really good. There we go. We're just gonna call this a day. Uh, apparently there are a few more raiders here, just gonna send our army, no need to fight it ourselves. We've got a few weapons which seem to be good. We're not using a sword, so I'm not gonna carry that anymore. Let's see, the step saddle, it's worse than what we have right now. But I feel like we can upgrade the rest of the party, right? Give her a bow, she doesn't need it, let's see, a better mount, nope. A battle harness, yes, apparently that works. Okay, that's all there is there, let's see if we can upgrade you as well, with something from here. Huh, weirdly enough, no. But then again, that's how sometimes this goes. Let's see, we've gained a level, so we have another focus point which we can add somewhere. Half the chances of your mount becoming lame, or increase your mount's hit points by 20%. We're just gonna go with these extra hit points, it improves our entire army a lot more as well. And let me get a focus point into crossbows, we need to buy one. Okay, let's see here. Go to arena, something going on? No. Go to the tavern, we'll ransom our prisoners, sure. Let's see if we can trade some stuff. For now, let's see if I can go to the smithy. I, if I am not mistaken, we have to rest. Like, we have to go to a village and actually rest in order to do this. Yeah. So for now, let's just sell what we are not using, basically the clothes. Then we have the arrows and the bows and the shield, but we'll leave the weapons. Let's wait here for some time, okay? 
Stop waiting, let's leave. Because our caravan is leaving as well. And we don't want to be too far from them. Hopefully this does not create us problems. But we are starting to catch up. Yeah, look at that. Come on, let's get into the battle. Perfect. We'll attack. We are going to just deploy and we're gonna say attack. We do not want the caravan warriors to die because they're mostly recruits. Oh, those are not necessarily recruits. It's a cavalry battle in an open field. Hmm. A bit unfortunate. But the quality of the troops isn't here. So I am hoping that we are going to cause a massacre here. Let's back up. Okay. Taking some damage, but as you can see now with the armor that we have on us, we are starting to take more damage before we even get a chance to go down. We're doing a good job here. Nice. If you see on the battlefield that we're getting medicine points, it's mostly because when our men go down, there is that chance to save them. So it's the surgery part of the skill point, of the medicine skill point. And so we turn from being dead to being wounded and thus you increase your points. I almost feel like I should ask them to follow us just so we can regroup a bit and have the enemy come to us. Let's see. I guess that's the battle. We're done here. Four renown we got for that battle. Let's make a bunch of woodsmen here, and then I'm, I feel like I should be starting to add up some spears, right? And we have more cavalry. What do I want? Brigands? No. Let's make hunters first. There we go. Seems like it is a better mount, so we're just gonna equip it. And with the rest of the stuff, we just loot it. There's nothing else there. Let's take a look at our character. More skills in one-handed. Either go with cavalry. Your one-handed weapon damage is increased by 5 while mounted. Cavalry troops in the formation you are leading have their melee damage increased by 5%. Or reduce the effect of wielding a shield on your combat movement speed. Infantry troops in the formation you are leading have their movement speed increased by 3. Oof. This could come in handy. But we are fighting a lot on horseback, so let's get with that. We have plenty of food. Let's spend some money, maybe... Somewhere in the area. Let's see, where, where does the caravan go? Let us go in this city for a second. They have a thousand gold, so I'm thinking maybe we can sell some of this stuff. Good. Now let's go with the caravan. I'm not sure that it was really worth it. Go to the keep, let's bribe them, because we want to talk to Melody Deer. Hey. My name is Arthur. Can you tell me anything about the battle? Well, King Caladog's great victory. Would who would dare say anything to tarnish his shine? King Ariel disappeared while hunting, and Caladog becomes king. He leads the tribes to war. Oh, we were eager enough, even though Ariel had made a truce with the Emperor sealed by oaths. When we were dazzled with the prospect of vengeance, who cares about the sacred word and honor? 
the ambush masterfully planned and executed than none can deny, but I will also not deny that the Sturgians fought the main body of the Imperial forces and the Vlandians fought their famous cavalry, so I don't think the greatest glory went to the sons of Batania. At the end of the day, what have we gained? The Sturgians hate us worse than ever, the Vlandians too, the Empire I suppose is shattered. What can I say, I believe that wars should have a goal, but I am a m minority it seems among our people. So many points of views right about the battle and what happened. Ransom the prisoner. Nothing to do, I, I would have liked to have a few more battles in the arena. Well, let's see, enter the smithy, yeah we've rested a bit, you can see that the stamina went up there. If I want to just melt some of these. We unlocked a new piece by smelting. So now we, in the swords department we can actually uh, make a new piece like this. Or a new part. Because we've studied it I guess. That's the idea. Mm, there's not a whole lot here. We'll wait for some time, but I'm gonna do it at a small speed just to see like that when the caravan is leaving. Now the speed keeps slowing down because we see bandits and looters and things like that. So when we spot like an enemy, that's what happens. I'm not sure if the caravan goes in town or not. Nope. Then we're gonna continue forward. Yeah. We're making most of the money right now just be from the battles, but it's not really that much from, from the caravan itself. Let's attack them. Attack! Let's see. Okay, I see them in there. Let's fight them within the city. Oh, doesn't it feel like we're faster on the horses now? Okay. This is a bit bad for us, but we're gonna go back now. I go behind our troops. They're trying to reach our archers, smart. Okay, we've taken you down there. Yeah, fighting bandits within towns, fighting horses within towns or fighting horses within the forest, that is the best thing that you can do. Because cavalry is great on the open field because you have the high charge and all that, but when it once it stops it gives you two opportunities to take it down of one basically by taking down the horse because then they're on the ground and it gives you a bit of a free shot and the second one is just directly on the horse like you can throw some of the axes especially if they have spear they're not really that maneuverable and they will not do damage without the speed Okay, more horses, everything looks good to me. Let's take it and let's continue forward. I feel like we're about to reach a Vlandian town here. Let's wait. There we go, quest is completed. We've escorted them, we increased our relationship. Everything looks good for now. If we go to the tavern district, we can sell. Well, we have a wanderer, a Batanian wanderer. Name. She has a skill in pole arms, scouting and one-handed fighting. She's daring, she's calculating. Mm. 
but we already have a scout, so we're not gonna take her into our team. Go to the arena, there's nothing going on here. If I go to trade, I can sell some of this stuff, first of all. And there's nothing of a great price around here. Let's see, can I buy some goods that I think that they will be expensive in the north? Something like oil, probably? Seems like oil is the cheapest. Let's buy about what? Twenty? Thirty? Let's say thirty. Okay, now it's time to move back north, but maybe we'll go through La Geta here. Or, oh, this town has is getting burned to the ground. Let's go first of all to Rotisia, Orticia here. I am thinking that maybe we'll be meeting some nobles. You got a problem? Yeah, we have a problem. Let's just send our troops. Yeah, pretty much take all that. On the troops, we're just gonna upgrade some of them. A few more spears, let's add to the team. And then you have the Axemen, another horse, and three more archers. Sturgeon archer, Sturgeon iron axe warriors, or what are they? Heavy. Axemen, heroic li line breakers. Gonna get a few more hunters. There we go. Just trying to remember everything that we've had. Okay, I'm not gonna go after those looters. Caravan that we do not care about. How many points in scouting do we need until the next level? Okay, we should probably start thinking about investing in that. Vlandians are doing some work in the area. Like this is this seems like a random mercenary clan. Stop there, stranger. Oh no, they they I are from please. the south. At least until I find out who you are anyway. Okay. Can you tell me anything about the battle? It was a tragedy that gnawed at the roofs of all the great families of Calradia, even ours, so far away from battle. We heard that the Empire was making war on the Sturgeons, or maybe it was the other way around. I thought that we had no stake in the quarrel, but Nimr, a fiery young hero from Bani Saran, asked me for permission to take some young warriors eager for glory. The Empire had left us alone for a while, and Neretzes was offering silver for men, so I thought, why not? Let them help the Empire. Uh, I should have known, the best course with wars is to have as little to do with them as you possibly can. So Nimr went out and fought and won glory but also got a number of men killed, especially those of Banu killed. And he became boastful and arrogant and then... Well, that is the beginning of the great feud between Saranis and Kilds. But the rest of the story I should perhaps leave for someone else. Thank you very much. Okay. Found out a bit more, apparently there's a camp here from the Vlandians, they are besieging that city. So maybe we're just gonna spend a, a while here. Okay. I do like these random reputation points that we get. It's going to help us in the long run. There's cheap salt here we can buy. And let's wait. Because we are healing and also resting. Yeah, they started the battle there. What do we have here? We can just recruit the looters, but we do not care about that. Can we go into the castle? 
Nope. He has forbidden us entering the castle. We're just gonna wait here for a bit. Wait here. Okay, so he went out so I can ask him about the there, situation. Ooh, we this. found the king. At least until I find out who... Can you tell me anything about the battle of Pendrake? It was a victory for of the kind that is almost as bad as defeat. We had given an oath to the Empire to join them if attacked. It seemed clear to me that we should have honored our oath, that the Batanians and Sturgeons were aggressors, but there is always room to argue details. Ultimately, our barons did not wish to fight with the Empire, so they resisted coming to its help. Neretzes, when he heard we were hesitant, sent us a message calling us cowards and traitors. And you say that to a Vlandian noble at your peril? Neretzes should have known what he was doing. We joined the Sturgeons. I did not fight in the battle, I stood on a hill telling my commanders where to go and who to attack. And we did rather well, I think you've heard. Still, we took losses, heavy losses, and gained little. And for these, the Baron blamed me, even though it was their idea to fight. I learned that day that a king should always lead, never follow. But it was a bitter lesson. If you want more information, there are two people you might try to speak to. Istiana worked as a sort of unofficial spymaster for Neretzes. She lives here. Okay, so we're gonna track her down. And then there is Arzagos, who was his bodyguard. He's supposed to be near Marunach. Though I hear he's changed quite a bit since. Okay. Thank you. I'm asleep. So where do we need to go? One is up here. And the other one is here. Okay. Well... They are fairly close by, we're gonna go and find out more about this. I feel like this quest, yeah. Now it's only about this. Meet with Istiana or meet with Arzagos. Let's go here. Nothing in the arena, we can trade our goods. There's not a whole lot that we wanna trade right now. Um, how about the goods that we bought? Any difference in price? Well, yep. We made some money there. Go to the tavern district and sell. And let's enter the smithy as well. Okay. We rested a little bit. Not a whole lot. Let's melt these swords. Gain another piece there. And that's about it. Yeah, We will need a lot more until we are done. Let's see. You can use more efficient method of charcoal production that produces 3 units of charcoal from 2 units of hardwood. That is great. You can produce crude iron more efficiently by obtaining 3 units of crude iron from 1 unit of iron ore. Hmm... Okay. Well, this is all the time that we have for today, unfortunately. I will see you guys tomorrow as we continue our journey through Mountain Blade 2. With that in mind, I wish you all to have a wonderful day.